Welcome back. All right, so more news from around the hockey world today. Uh, it's not all NHL news on the board in this one. Uh, so Philip Zadina, one-year deal with the San Jose Sharks. It is a deal with a cap hit of $1.1 million. Uh, Zadina's bet on himself. He lost that money he was going to get from Detroit with the contract termination. Not the same as a buyout, uh, but he makes back $1.1 million of the money lost from that contract with the new deal that he has signed with the San Jose Sharks. It's less money than he was going to make with Detroit this coming season. So again, I, I, I admire the kid for being willing to take a little less money and go out there and prove himself. We'll see how Zadina does with the Sharks. The Sharks definitely have room for a, a gifted offensive player in their top six. If he's able to have a really good training camp, he may end up in the top six for the Sharks. We shall see. Also, Cam York has signed an extension with the uh, Philadelphia Flyers as the Flyers continue to do their, their bookkeeping and get everything straightened up. Uh, two years at $1.6 million per season for York. Again, really solid. So first they signed Cates to a deal that I think, yeah, that seems like that, that's good value. York, I think this is a deal for York. I think he played really well for them last year. Uh, the blue line in Philadelphia definitely has been a work in progress. But uh, yeah, York, I think, is the real deal. And so be curious to see how that deal plays itself out. John Paddock, a name I hadn't heard in a while. Uh, he steps down as the Pats GM. So that's Regina Pats, where Connor Bedard's coming from. And uh, announces he's retiring. Uh, he was a coach in the NHL with the Jets, a coach with the Coyotes. Uh, also was GM for the Coyotes for a while there. Uh, and he coached the Ottawa Senators, too. He also did work in the NH or, well, NHL scout. He, he worked various jobs, assistant general manager, uh, 39 years, 39 years uh, that he's been coaching, scouting, and everything else, and he had an NHL career prior as well. So uh, all the best to Paddock in retirement. Uh, I think that, you know, that's a really solid career. He's in the AHL Hall of Fame, so kudos to him for that, and I hope, I hope he enjoys, you know. Uh, retirement can be great. Uh, the Vancouver Canucks have reached a one-year deal with Kalamazoo, the K-Wings, uh, for their a ECHL affiliation. So ECHL affiliations are always interesting uh, in that they, they do tend to somehow change frequently. At least it feels that way. Uh, but yeah, so the Vancouver Canucks reach uh, that deal. I'm mildly surprised Vancouver didn't figure out something a little bit closer than Kalamazoo, but hey, you know, uh, it is the ECHL. These are players who would get called up to the AHL. And so it's probably not a huge deal. But what may be a huge deal to the ECHL is the expansion news from today. Yep. Uh, Tim Tebow, partial owner for an ECHL expansion team, which will begin play in 2024-2025. So a year down the road, we will see a new ECHL team out of Lake Tahoe. I haven't seen a team name or logo or anything like that released. Uh, I'm guessing it's got to be voted on by a board and approved. And then we'll get into what the team's called and all that fun stuff. But Tim Tebow being a part owner, I, that wasn't on my bingo card. Uh, so yeah, part owner of an ECHL franchise and playing out of Lake Tahoe, it's going to be gorgeous. So there will be some players who would kind of like to play in Lake Tahoe. You don't make a ton of money in the ECHL, so you might as well be in a beautiful location and Lake Tahoe is definitely that. Uh, for anybody curious, we are roughly three months from the opening night of the NHL season, 92 days from opening night. So we're under the 100 mark at this stage. And uh, there's a lot of a lot of work left to be done, uh, NHL, AHL, ECHL, and juniors as well. And I'm sure there are a lot of people making sure that work gets done. So while things do get shut down during the summer for some and for some jobs as well, uh, there are those who just keep working. It's 12 months a year job. So uh, kudos to people who do that. Of course, I'm here making videos 365 days a year. Minus days I'm on vacation, maybe sort of, kind of, sort of, and this year... When we go on vacation, I do intend to pre-record a bunch of videos that we'll upload to the channel while I'm on vacation, but I'm taking the computer and the setup with me. Not the jerseys, though. If I try to take all those jerseys, I might as well rent a plane if I was going to try to do that. At any rate, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video, and no, I do not have rent-a-plane money. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.